Yo, what's up guys? It's Mac and I'm back with another video and today I've got a deck profile for you guys. It's been a minute since I've done one of these and I keep saying it's been a minute since I've done one of these on like every th single thing that I do because I'm going back now and retracking to old series and doing stuff those because I've been getting kind of bored of uh, putting up Smash videos all the time. N never getting bored of Smash, but I feel like you guys would rather see stuff that's not Smash every single day, so I'm trying to do some of these too. And this is a really, really, really fun deck that I've been playing in the last couple days. Uh, last couple, like, week, I think. Week to two weeks, I finally got the stuff for it. It's something that I've been looking forward to ever since um, I saw that Double Crisis was coming out, the Team Magma and Team Aqua set. I felt like Camera Up DX with the other Camera Up would be really, really good. And uh, so far it's proven to be really good. Um, I call this deck These Humps, or uh, Camel Toe, or <laughs> something along those lines. I don't really have a name for it. You guys can let me know in, in, in the comments section what you guys like better, Camel Toe or These Humps. Um, but basically, basically it's based around this man, Camera EX, which has the Explosive Jet Attack, which is kind of a hefty amount of energy. Uh, two fires and uh, two colorless energies. Four is a lot. Um, and you discard as many fire energies attached to your Pokemon. Remember that. Your Pokemon, not just Camera DX, your Pokemon, as you like, this attack does 50 damage times the number of energy cards you discarded. So that's really, really good. Really, really good um, if you're able to set it up. So the way that we set it up is with a 3 3 line of Numel and Camera Upt. Team Magma's Numel and Team Magma's Camera Upt. Team Magnus Camera Upt has the ability Burning Draft, which once during your turn before you attack, you may attach a Fighting or Fire Energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So you can bring back, or so you can put energy into the discard pile with your Battle Compressors. You play three of them. Well, I play three of them. I'm not going to say you because I don't know. Maybe I'm not playing the best version of this deck. This is just what I've made. So I'm not going to be like I am the all knowing all-seeing camel god but this is what i play i play three battle compressors because you don't want four you don't want too many and you don't want two because then you could never see them uh you could prize one and only have one in your deck and it'd be hard to get your energies in the discard pile but you run three it's a pretty like uh pretty goldilocks and the three bears kind of number three um to if you don't know what that does search your deck for three cards and discard them so you can search your deck for supporter cards, so you can bring them back with Versus Seeker. Um, more commonly, fire energies, so that you can put them in the discard, so you can Burning Draft, so that you can Blacksmith, let me go to Blacksmith, attach two fire energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. So essentially, with Battle Compressor, Burning Draft, um, and then double colorless, you are, I, will, I, was, I, I was pointing to that in real life and not actually on the screen. And double colorless, you can attach a double colorless to your camera up. You may blacksmith two fire energies onto your camera up. And if you have two camera up of these in play and you burning draft onto both of them, you have a camera up EX with two fires, two fires on these. You discard all four of them for your attack and bam, you just did. 200 damage and knocked out just about every Pokemon, barring some Megas, which that's why we play Muscle Band, barring some Megas, but uh, it's it's really good, like, um, it once it sets up, once you get multiple Team Magma's camera up top, you can just really blow through your opponent and take a uh, bunch of prizes at once. Um, the other cards in this deck, uh, I like Dowsing Machine because all of your Pokemon are fat as hell. You play Team Magma's Camera Up, 3 Retreat. You play Camera Up DX, Foe Retreat. So I like to be able to have 4 Switch cards. So I play 3 Switch, but that is the 4th is my Dowsing Machine. I also like to get another Energy Switch. Energy Switch is good because when you need to power up a Camera Up DX really fast and you might not have uh, the ability to Blacksmith, you might have used another Supporter for your turn, you can Burning Draft um, and then attach like a DCE and then energy switch and then you can do an attack so that's why you play energy switch is just quickly move energies uh, from your camels to your other camels um, sacred ash because uh, shuffle five pokemon from your discard pile into your deck that's to save yourself if all your camels are dead all your baby camels are dead if all your small camels are dead it's really hard to win 
with this deck very very hard to win so that's why you play sacred ash to bring them back megaphone because garbador hits this deck pretty hard um and that's another reason for dowsing machine so i can dowsing machine to get another one but but most of the time um recently in the in the more common decks you don't see garbador you see silent lab and we do play a stadium i'll get into that later three switch as i said which it could be four four ultra ball because one it lets you search out all your camels two it lets you put fire energy into the discard by discarding with ultra balls we run four versus secret and look at that glossy glossy gloss <laughs> gold versus seeker shout outs to water and ass what's up fam water and ass here um gold versus seeker we play four because we like to bring back our lysander our blacksmith our ends our wally which i'll get to why we play wally later um but yeah it's just a really 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 good card in this deck i cannot state how effective this card can be in this deck um three blacksmith uh, because Blacksmith is OP in this deck. Two Lysanders, because I never feel like one is enough for me. Um, I do feel like I get it too often when I play two, but I'd rather get it too often than too little. So that's why I play two. That's just my preference. Four N, um, four Sycamore. Uh, Sycamore also helps, because if you play high counts of this, you can Sycamore and get fires in your discard pile early. We play one Wally. Now, why we play the Wally? is because against seismitoad it can be very difficult for us to find our camels and also if we want well first off what wally does search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your pokemon um excluding pokemon ex so you can't do it with mega rayquaza um and put it onto that pokemon this counts as evolving now shuffle your deck and you can use this card during your first turn or on a pokemon that was put into play this turn so that's a very good card for decks that evolve so um especially this one where we only have a stage one um what we can do is on turn one we can attach a dce to our camel um our our, our camera up dx um or our or our, our actually our regular camel Actually, this, this works a lot better. I've, I've done this multiple times. We attach a DCE to our Numal on turn one. We play Wally. We Burning Draft, so we get a, a Fire on, and we can do 60 with Flame Ball on turn one, and we move that Fire Energy to our Camera Up DX on the bench. So um, very, very useful. And especially, as I said, when you can't play items, you can't play Ultra Balls, it gets very hard for you to find a Camera Up, a Team Magnus Camera Up. So Wally comes in handy against Seismitoad as well, which I've actually I've actually been faring pretty decent against Seismitoad EX decks, at least as far as the uh, the Toad Puff goes. Um, I have not lost to, to to Toad Puff yet with this, and um, the reasoning is is they can't one shot your camera up as much as they have uh, weakness to you. Basically, you have one camera up DX um, out front, like taking a bunch of damage and you let them hit that and you let them head ringer that one and you put your other one down put a muscle band on so they can't head ringer it um and you just go to town with that one if you can kill their first like seismitoad or first two seismitoads it almost scares them into putting out something else because they feel like you're just gonna blacksmith again and win because they can stop you from ultra balling they can't stop you from blacksmithing and as long as you have your stadium in play they can't stop actually even with silent lab they can't stop you from burning draft so um you do have not you how do i put this this deck was initially called lose to toad dot deck but i don't think it's that bad is basically what i'm saying um we play burning land or scorched earth sorry scorched earth which is a great great card in this deck as well once during each player's turn that player may discard a fire or fighting card from their uh, fire or fighting energy card from their hand and if that player does so, he or she draws two cards. So why that's broken in this is you can discard it with Scorched Earth, and um, you can then Burning Draft that Fire Energy back onto Camera Up or use it um, to Blacksmith or anything you want. It's so broken. It's so busted. I Oh my gosh. So broken. And then we have uh, two Muscle Bands just for hitting those 210, uh, 220 megas um so we can only so we only have to discard four uh fire energy because it can be kind of tough having to discard five energy to kill something it gets very tough and then we play four dce because dce is the main thing that helps us get camera ups up fast enough and then we play eight fire energies i like how i have four different kinds of fire energies i have 
the standard fire energy, just just the basic one, the one that comes with all uh, with all the decks. I have the hollow play energy, four of them. I have the uh, the regular hollow uh, black and white energy, and I have the heart gold soul silver hollow ho oh energy. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. But yeah, that is the deck. That is the deck. I'm gonna go find a match. I will see you guys in a second, and we will see how this deck goes. All right, all right, all right. So we have found us an opponent, um, a worthy opponent, Zandir. He is playing a Psychic and Fairy and Normal deck. So I'm guessing he is playing some sort of Aromatist variant with Mewtwo. Um, probably. Um, I have no basics, so uh, he has a Sylveon. Okay, we see the Fairy energies. Town map. That reverse town map. We see Slurpuff. And a psychic energy. What is this shenanigans? We got a numal of our own. Alright, this guy took forever to get a basic. I'm gonna get to draw a bunch of cards. We have a pretty good hand though. Look at this. We get that numal, we get to battle compressor turn one, we get to Oh hey, we win victory! He saw. There was no possible way. What are we gonna get on the wheel? Oh we get a oh nice. I need more tickets because I need to win more tournaments so I can get more cards. The next deck video I will be putting up for you guys will be Rayquaza whenever I get the stuff for that. If you guys have any Rayquaza stuff, please let me know. I don't want to steal it from you. I just want to borrow it for the video so I can show you guys my Rayquaza deck list because it's, it's kind of different, um, but it's really, really good, and uh, I want to show you guys that. So if you guys have any Rayquaza stuff on here, please let me borrow it. Um, I will return it to you immediately. But let's find another. As you see, this deck is called These Humps. Um, <laughs> let's go try to find another game. And that, it, it says I have six overall wins with this deck. I'm pretty sure I played six games. Okay, we're facing the fucking rainbow. This guy's got fire, water, electric. I want to... <sighs> I hope we get an actual game. I want to go first. I want to evolve first. Uh, no basic. He's got muscle bands, float stones, DCE, fire energy... All right, we're going to start Mr. Big Boy Camel. Oh, that's a shitty hand. Holy crap, that's a bad hand. He starts... <gasps> he starts Lilio. That's not good. Starting Lilio is not good. Starting Lilio is not good. Um, I'm going to put this DCE on Camera Up DX, I guess. And in my turn. Because we have nothing. Like, look at this. Oh, hey, we win again! Okay, these guys are so scared. He knew. He knew there was no possible way for him to win that. And we get another ticket? All right, I will take that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We take those. I wonder what's going on tonight. People are just, like, starting and then conceding. Please, give me a game. I I realize I am, like, a Yugi Moto. Grass, water, dragon. Is this guy playing, like... I don't even know. It's making my head hurt trying to think what he's playing. Dave Juan Kenobi. I love that name though. That's adorable. Uh, that's a that's a good hand, as long as we can get a supporter off of our draw slash scorched earth. That'll be great. Uh, start with that benched numal, and he's gonna lead Dragonite. Okay, that's cool. Um, I figured it was some sort of Dragonite variant, and just attach a grass and my turn, so we get camera upped. Um, scorched Earth, Muscle Band, so we don't get head ringered. Um, fire Energy, Scorched Earth, that Fire Away. Show me a Supporter. Yes, show me a Supporter. And we get another Numal. No Supporter card, though. That sucks. All right, well, we're going to have to pass and hope that this man... Let me show you guys. I don't know if you know what Dragonite does. Dragonite has Burst in, which means that it will... Uh, it's my turn again, by the way. I got a double color list. Hey, hey, hey. Um, when you play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench, you may, like, bust in, if you will, because that is the name of the ability, and it moves him to the active, and you can move all energy cards from your, um, from your active Pokemon to him. Um, wait, actually, any basic energy cards attached to any of your Pokemon to him. And then Jet Sonic does 80, and if you discard an energy, it does 40 more. Yeah, it's pretty cute, it's pretty cute, pretty cute. I'm gonna put that right there. Um, I'm going to have to Tumbling Jet for, hopefully we flip heads, we flip tails, so 50. Tumbling Jet for 50. Uh, this is not how you camera up, <laughs> but it's, uh, is he 180? Dang, he is 180. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, you dirty rat. <laughs> Alright, but he did 30. Okay, that's fine. Okay, if we can get a fire energy, we can actually win the game. 
He only got three cards off that. Got a versus secret for his chorus again, I think. Yes. Okay. He's gonna jet Sonic for 80. Fire energy! Alright, alright. We attach fire there. And uh, we're just gonna explosive jet for um, 120 damage uh, and put him at 30 away from uh, victory. <laughs> victory for us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. He didn't draw anything. He's upset. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Alright. We're gonna try one more time. <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. See, like, I want to edit this out, but this is fucking hilarious. I can't just edit this out. This is pure gold. Alright. Alright. This guy is playing, like... Oh, shenanigans. Please say I got to go first. Would you like to go first? Boing! Zoingo. Uh, that's a decent hand. I can deal with that. I get to Scorched Earth on turn one. Um, I'm guessing this guy's playing Groudon. Um, or... Oh! This deck! Okay. Alright, uh, I know this deck. Alright, we're gonna DC Scorched Earth. We are going to get our Fighting Energy in the discard. Numel, another camera up, and I'm going to um I don't want to get hit with that turn one. So I kinda wanna lice I, I kinda wanna just Lysander up the Lucario, but I kinda wanna end. I'm gonna end. Numel That's cool. So uh Dowsing Machine, those for an end. I don't know why I just did that, to be completely honest. That made no sense. I thought I had something else in the discard, but uh, I guess I didn't. That was probably a very bad play. My part, but, Oh, this guy's playing Metacham. Uh, okay, this guy's just playing Fighting in general. Never mind, he's not playing Metacham. He's going to hit me for like 60, maybe 80. Rock Guard, fuck you, bro. going to hit me for 60. Here's Scumbag. All right, I'm going to bring up Numel. Or camera up. I'm gonna put that DCE there. You have 60 HP. Oh, that's garbage. That's fucking garbo. Put that down. Put that down. Um, put that down. Put that down. Ultra ball for another camera up DX. Let's just let's just get let's just get the ball rolling. Um, I'm gonna scorched earth this. Give me a switch. Fuck. Okay. Um, that sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and. All right, now this gets weird because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna burning draft on one there and burning draft one on the other one. Um, actually, I've got energy switch. It's it's not really worth it though, because if I energy switch there and I do tumbling attack and I flip tails. Um, like say that I had I had I had put the muscle band on that camera. Up. Um, if I do that and I flip heads, yes, I kill it, but I take sixty. If I do that and I flip tails, I kill it, but I take sixty. I mean, I don't kill it and I take sixty, so it's not really worth it. Um, but I will, however, energy switch that to that one, and then end my turn. So uh, he's probably just gonna hit me for sixty again. Hopefully, he didn't draw anything because it seemed like that hand that he had before was pretty dead. Of course, our hand is very dead too. Maybe he'll end us, that'd be great. He evolves into the Metacham. The Metacham is kind of scary. Uh, he does another 60 to us. And we get Ultra Ball, and I don't like that. Burning Draft, onto that one. We, we honestly can't do anything. Next turn, we can kill the Halucha. Um, but we're gonna lose our camera up with our DCE. We started out so good. Oh, and he's got a strong energy on that. That sucks. Yoga Kick is about to do some mad damage. Yoga Kick with another does 100 damage already. God, that's disgusting. All right, well, I'm gonna go onto my big boy camera up to buddy. Scorched Earth, this fire. All right, cool. We got a switch finally after forever. Um... I'm going to drop the switch and the Scorched Earth and pick up that Numel because um, we're going to lose th this camera up 
and I want to be able to, and right, I'm going to put that there because we're probably going to need that for damage. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Um, how many fires do I have in the discard right now? Just one? Uh, yeah, just one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and burning draft onto this one. Hopefully I can get a fire and an attachment. Oh, wait, I actually... I don't even need an attachment then. Um, I'm going to go 60, 80 after that and kill. And I'm going to move that to this camera up. So um, this means, what this means uh, is that I knock him out, I get a prize, and I get to move that fire energy over here so that I can, um, oh shoot, I still need one energy in there. Oh man, I, I, I still need one more energy, that sucks. It's a lunatone, the premonition lunatone. I thought that thing was rotated. YOLO. Oh, no, no, that's like plasma storm, I think. Something like that. But he's going to put that lunatone down. And uh, a lunatone with a premonition ability lets you look at the top two cards of your deck and arrange them in any order. So that's pretty good. It, like, it, it was good back in the day because you could, um, you could, oh, and we die. Uh, 90, yeah, pretty much gotta go up with camera up. Oh, oh, because he killed, okay, that makes sense. Well, but this is, this is fine. Um, we're gonna DCE there. Uh, I don't think I can Wally because I don't think I have the other camel in my deck. Uh, I kind of want to end him to low because I don't need to, yeah. I'm gonna end him low. Alright. Yeah, this is good. This is good. He's at three cards now, and he lost his premonition from last turn. Uh, he doesn't have any energy uh, attachments right now. Um, so to explain why Metacham also hit our camera up, Metacham has the uh, the Omega Barrage or the Alpha Barrage trait. This Pokemon may attack twice in a turn, so he was able to kill our camel with Yoga Kick on the first attack so i had to promote someone else to take the damage from the second one so that's why he did 70 to this camel as well uh but 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 do i not have any fire in the discard pile at all i'm gonna gotta change that um i'm gonna go ahead and burning draft and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and kill him with Explosive Jet. 1-2 off there for 120 with Muscle Band. And we found our other camel, so that is very helpful. Um, we are going to need that in the long run. Uh, and the cool thing about the um, Explosive Jet attack is after you use it the first time... Oh, and he just, he just concedes, knowing that he can no longer attach any energies... Um, he was just going to get obliterated by another one next turn. We have the blacksmith. So even though we found ourselves in a little bit of a sticky situation, after um, l losing that first camel, we we played to set up another camera up, and he just wasn't able to set up as fast as we could. Um, I don't know how viable this deck is, but it's extremely fun. I highly recommend it if you can find the Team Magma camera ups. I know they're kind of difficult to find right now. Really, really fun deck. Really, really fun. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. The next time it'll be Rayquaza. Remember, if you guys have any Rayquaza stuff, that means like the Shaman EX from the new set, Rayquaza EX, the colorless one from the new set, um, Rayquaza, or, uh, Mega Rayquaza EX from the new set. If you have any of those, let me know. Um, I will trade them back to you or I will trade you like packs and stuff in return for them it doesn't matter uh just let me know thank you guys uh for watching and i will see you next time bye